Drawing Ellipses. Let's take a look at the ellipse tool. That can be found here in the draw panel. And it's right under rectangle. We'll go ahead and look at these. There are three different ways to draw an ellipse. A center, axis endpoint, and elliptical arc. Let's go ahead and try the center. Now the command line says to specify the center of an ellipse. We'll go ahead and click here. And now we stretch out to the left, to the right, in any direction that we want. And what we're doing right now is drawing the major axis. We'll go ahead and click here. And now the next thing we do is we specify the distance of the minor axis. And you can easily drag this out or you can enter a value here. Let's try 2 and enter. And there we go. We drew our ellipse. Let's try another method. The axis and end. The command line says specify the axis endpoint. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we'll have to specify the other endpoint. And as you can see, we are still drawing the major axis. And this rubber band here for the line is specifying the minor axis. Again, we can stretch this out to kind of get an eyeball, or we can enter a value here. If we're drawing accurately, we'll be entering values in the command line. But for now, we can just go ahead and eyeball the size that we want and go ahead and click with the left mouse click. And there we go. We drew two ellipses. And just remember, the ellipse tool, just like all the others, remembers the last method that you used to draw the ellipse. So if we last use the axis and the end method, that's what's going to be in the default option when we choose it next time. So let's go ahead and select here. I'll go ahead and press the space bar to reactivate the command. And as you can see, it says to specify the endpoint. Let's go ahead and just quickly draw another ellipse. And there you go. If you want to go back to the center, which is a normal default, go ahead and select that 